So how do we do that? Actually? And the way we do this is by changing our perception of the world around us, of the people around us, and also of ourselves. So understanding and developing perception is extremely is foundational for being able to do such a thing as metta meditation, to have compassion for the people around you. You can only have that compassion if you first of all develop perceptions. So how do we do this? How do we develop these perceptions? Now the, the first thing, if you're going to have compassion and metta for the people around you, uh, is to overcome uh, anger, negativity, and irritation. Uh, and I just want to explain briefly just a few uh, strategies on how to do this, how to overcome irritation, anger, negativity in life, uh, because this is very, very important. Uh, but again, I want to say that if you're going to do this, you have to stick at it. You have to try it, develop it again and again and again uh, over a long period of time. And only then does it start to bite. This is the unfortunate thing about spiritual practice. It's not a magic pill you can just take and it's all done. You have to actually apply yourself. Uh, and you have to apply yourself regularly over time, month after month, year after year. And that is when the results really start to come uh. So take anger, take irritation with people around us. Uh, this is something everybody has to experience. It's impossible to have a life where we never get irritated by anybody. Uh, this is the nature of, of being in existence or having a life that we sometimes get irritated. Uh, so what can we do? Uh, now the first strategy that I like to do, and remember that this is a strategy in developing our perceptions, uh, in changing our perception of things, uh, uh, the first strategy is to remember that when somebody does something to you which is unpleasant, uh, they say something or they do something or they even think something which is not nice, uh, then anger is not really going to be helpful. Remember that it is not a personal issue when something does something bad towards you. Uh, it's never personal. Uh, the reason people get angry and upset with other people uh, is because we tend to take things personally. Uh, we have a feeling that in a sense that it is this person uh, against us. Uh, they are doing something towards us. Uh, and that's why we get upset with the other person. Uh. But remember that the reason why people do whatever they do uh, is not because they have anything against us as a person. Uh, it's because they are just reacting to causes and conditions in their own life. They are a slave, if you like, to their own causes and conditions in their own life. And they act in a certain way because of those causes and conditions. Their behavior is never, ever personal. If uh, this person had been in a similar situation with the same cause and conditioning uh, 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 influencing them, and another person had been there in your place, they would have reacted in exactly the same way. It is never, ever personal. And when you look at it that way, when you change the, the perception of what the person does away from being something personal between you and them, and it's just the person reacting to their own cause and conditions, you realize that anger is absolutely, uh, completely uh, not only unnecessary, but it's counterproductive. It has no place in that kind of situation. So try to remember this. Try to remember that it's always impersonal. It's never, ever personal. Even though it might feel that way, it's not personal.